hello everyone now welcome back to mesh explorer in this video i'm going to solve this beautiful and amazing simplification map problem that is power raised to power 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 minus 4 3 2 1 4321 so how can we solve this math problem without using a calculator you have never seen math problem like this so let us learn how can we solve this math problem here first of all we will try to solve the powers of this number if we have powers like this so here we will solve the powers from top to bottom so here first we will try to solve this one power 2 raised to power 1 so remember that if we have any number raised to power 1 so that will be always equal to that number so here 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2 so here we will replace this power 2 raised to power 1 with 2 so this will become implies this will become power raised to power 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 is simply 2 minus this number will be the same 4 3 2 1 what we'll do here here we will try to solve this one power 3 raised to power 2 3 raised to power 2 is very simple 3 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply the base 3 2 times so here 3 times 3 is 9 so the value of 3 raised to power 2 is 9 so here we will replace this power 3 raised to power 2 with 9 and here we will change this base 4 to the exponential form so we can write this 4 as 2 square so this will become implies 4 is 2 square raised to the power here this is 9 minus 4 3 2 1 what we'll do here here in the first term we will use an exponential identity m raised to power m how raised to power n so here we will use this one identity r raised to power m or raised to power n which can also be written as r raised to power m times n now using this identity here the this equation will become this implies it will become 2 raised to power here we we'll multiply the power so this will become 2 times 9 which is 18 minus 4 3 2 1 next we can write this power 18 as the sum of 8 plus 10 so here we will change this power 18 to the sum of 8 plus 10 minus 4 3 2 1 now here in this first term again we will use an exponential identity r raised to power m plus n so here we will use this one exponential identity in the first term here we can write r raised to power m plus n as r raised to power m times r raised to power n now using this exponential identity here this first term will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10 so this implies 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10 minus 4, 3, 2, 1. Now here we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 10 without using a calculator. So therefore the value of 2 raised to power 8 is it means that we have to multiply this base to 8 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, and 128 times 2 is 256. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is equal to 256. So the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256. Now we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 10. So we can write 2 raised to power 10 as 2 raised to power a plus 2 now using this exponential math property here this will become 2 raised to power a times 2 raised to power 2 now the will of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times and 2 raised to power 2 is 2 times 2 is 4 so this is 4 now 256 times 4 is simply 1000 24. This is because 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 2 will be carried. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So 2 2 will be carried. No 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So this is 1024. 
So the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024. Now here in this equation, we will replace 2 raised to power 8 with 256 and 2 raised to power 10 with 1024. So this equation will become, implies, this will become the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 minus 4, 3, 2, 1. Now how can we multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without rough work and standard multiplication? So here we have a track. That is to change this number to the sum of, we can write this number as 200 plus 50 plus 6 times this one number 1024 minus this number 4, 3, 2, 1. And here you will multiply this number 1024 first with 200 and then with 50 and then last with 6. So let's do this multiplication here. So this will become implies this will become 200 times 1024 plus 50 times 1024 plus 6 times 1024. Let us close these number inside the braces minus 4 3 2 1 now here we will multiply these numbers and then we will add all of these numbers so let's do this multiplication here so this will become implies this is open how can you multiply these two numbers so here 1024 times 0 is 0 1024 times 0 is 0 and 1024 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. So this gives us 204,800. Plus, we multiply these two numbers. So again, 1024 times 0 is 0, 1024 times 5 is 5 times 4 is 20. So 0, 2 will be carried. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. So this will become 2, 1 will be carried. 5 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. And 5 times 1 is 5. So this gives him 51,200. Plus, we multiply these two numbers. So here, 6 times 4 is 24. So this will become 4, 2 will be carried. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 4, 1 will be carried. 6 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 6 times 1 is 6. So this gives him 6,144. Braces close minus 4, 3, 2, 1. So what we'll do here? Here first we will add these two numbers and finally we will subtract this number from the result. So let us add these three numbers. So this will become here we'll start from the ones position. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. No. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 0 is again 4. No. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 8 is 11. So 1 one will be carried to the next digit. Next, next is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 2. One will be carried to the next digit. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 0 is 6. And this 2. So here the addition of these three numbers gives him 262,144 minus this number 4,321. Now here we have to subtract this number from this one number. So with the same way we will start from the ones position. So here 4 minus 1 gives him 3. So this will become 3. 4 minus 2 gives him 2. And here 1 minus 3 is not possible. So what we will do here. Here we will give 110 from this 2 to this one. So this will become giving 110 to this number. This will become 10 plus 1 is 11. So this will become 11. And this will become 1. No, 11 minus 3 is 8. So 11 minus 3 is 8. Now next we will come here. 1 minus 4 is again not possible. So we will give 110 to this number. So this will become 10 plus 1 is 11. So this will become 11 and this will remain 5. No, 11 minus 4 is simply 7. This is 5 and this is 2. So finally 
is our answer and value of this interesting simplification math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye